1. Start budgeting. Budgeting is fundamental to your financial success. It helps to guide your actions and restrict those that are unfavorable. Although budgeting isn't fun, it is a critical piece of the puzzle. In your budget, you can prioritize things that matter and cut out things that do not. Also, your budget should outline every of your financial expense. So if you make a bad decision that was not included in the budget, you will be aware of it and know how to correct it. Proper budgeting will also help you to be accountable and point out the areas where you are deviating. 2. Track your income and expenses. Tracking your expenses regularly helps you know where exactly your money is going. This helps you to also properly plan where you want it to go. It helps you categorize your expenses into needs, wants, and savings. One of the simplest ways to track your income and expenses is using a written ledger or a tracking system. It is even easier when you use an app that tracks expenses. This will help you become more aware of what you are spending and where your income goes. By doing this, you will be able to identify the areas where you need to make changes. 3. Shop around for the best insurance. Insurance can be a large expense, but not having proper insurance can significantly sabotage your financial goals. It is critical to choose the best plans for your life and your budget without having to break the bank. First, you need to compare your options and make the right choices. Once you have a better understanding of what insurance you need, then shop around for a policy as this will help you save thousands. 4. Automate your savings and investments. Automation is the most efficient way to contribute to your savings and investments. After setting up your spending goals, you need to automate those goals. If you don't do this, you will easily fall back into the habit of overspending. Automatic investment and savings allow you to save up money at regular intervals. A good way to start is by automating your retirement savings through your employer. Then you can also consider automatic payments for all of your bills. 5. Get a part-time job. One sure way to increase your savings is by picking up a part-time job. You can find a job in your local community, work from home, or get jobs that tend to be more flexible. If you already have a 9 to 5 job, then consider working from home. There are many interesting options to choose from like virtual assistant, freelancing, remote teaching, social media management, and many more. However, you should do something that interests you. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult to get the energy to work after a long shift at your day job. 6. Pay down your debt. One of the best ways to live frugally is by paying off your debt as it is a drain on your resources. You should make it a priority to clear your debts for good. Once you eliminate debt from your life, you will have enough money to save and live frugally. In addition, living within your means will allow you to break free from financial burdens and debts. 7. Avoid credit card debt. Credit card interest is expensive. It is easy to rack up unnecessary debt with credit cards. Using credit cards and not paying them off is detrimental to your finances. You need to pay off your credit card debt in full every month, but if you cannot do so, it is best you do not use a credit card at all. One major frugal living tip is to avoid credit card debt. This will help you save a bundle of money and stay out of debt. 8. Downsize. Living in a larger home has its benefits, but the costs of living in a bigger space can add up. You are not only going to pay for more square footage, but you will also have to put up with the little costs that come along with it. If you want to live frugally, you will need to downsize your living space to a more affordable living situation. Moving to a smaller apartment comes with lower utility and maintenance costs. It also helps you to get out of debt faster. 9. Try a low buy or no spend challenge. When some things come in form of a challenge, it is easier to stick to it. For instance, if you are not sure where your money is going, why not try to do a low buy or no spend year? If a whole year seems too hard for you, then you can start with a no spend month and see how things go from there. 10. Stop impulse buying. Impulse buying will eat up all your money, including the ones you were saving for your financial goals. With the advent of technology, you can find anything and everything with the touch of a button, and before you know it, your shopping sprees will cost you hundreds to thousands of dollars. You need to learn how to stop your impulse shopping. This is one of the most vital frugal living tips to help you save money. 11. Buy in bulk. One of the frugal tips that can save you money on your grocery bill is buying items that you use frequently in bulk, like paper towels, toilet paper, and soap, among others. When you buy in larger portions, the price per unit is usually lower, 
and you can also make fewer trips to the store. If you buy perishable food items in bulk, remember to cook them in bulk and freeze it to prevent wastage. 12. Buy a used car. Brand new cars are a total waste if you want to live frugally. Cars depreciate the instant you drive them. So instead of buying a new car, you can just find a good used car. This will save you a lot of money. Rather than going for something flashy, focus on reliability and quality, and don't forget to bargain. You might probably not get a good deal at the first car dealership you go to, so be prepared. When you are trying to get a great deal on a car, try to be knowledgeable, get multiple quotes, and you can also compare dealer offers against each other. 13. Sell things you don't need. Most of us have a bit of extra clutter lying around our houses, ranging from an oversized collection of designer handbags, tons of items your kids have outgrown, or even an overflowing bookshelf. You might just need to downsize and sell the things you do not need anymore, and this can be done with just a little bit of effort. Places where you can start selling include eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Poshmark. 14. Ditch Cable Depending on the cable package that you have, these might just be the frugal tips you need to achieve your savings plan. If you are paying $100 a month in cable that is $1,200 per year, reducing this amount could help build your emergency savings quickly and help get the luxury purchase you want. Instead of an expensive cable, you can opt for a cheaper streaming service. 15. Lower your electric bill. There are a lot of ways to lower your electric bills. For example, when the weather is not too hot, you can use fans if possible to cut back on using your air conditioner. You can avoid cooking with your oven on hot summer days to reduce its usage too. Also, you can use cold water when washing clothes to reduce costs on your bill. These frugal tips and many more can help lower your electric bill to help you save money. 16. Cut expensive coffee. Millennials spend over $2,000 a year on coffee. That's a lot and reducing how you spend can be a big step in frugal living. It is quite difficult to cut down on your coffee intake, but you can purchase other flavors of coffee that are creamer and still have the same satisfaction. It will also help put some more money in the bank. This frugal living tip will help you save a bundle of money. 17. Determine the things you can do without. The fact that you can afford something does not mean that you should buy it. Sometimes, the main issue we have with achieving our financial goal is spending recklessly. As you work on stretching your dollars, determine the things you can live without. It could be temporary or permanent. The point is to help save more money.